Hello then, folks. Welcome back to Glory Hunting with me, Dr. Benji FM, where PSG haven't lost a game and it's mid November. Oh, no. folks how are we doing welcome back and as you can see straight away then since our last episode where we lost to Le uh, leon and lazio the double l's in more senses than one really uh things have gone relatively well in terms of performances especially we've, we've looked pretty good um there's been mixed results here and there so let's talk through them so following the 3-1 defeat to lazio we bounced back a little bit a, a, a wins against show i think it's so is it show i think that's how you say it 4-1 against them lons was a 1-0 win and a 0-0 against ren and all of a sudden seven points in those three games and i'm feeling a little bit better about our season of course we started very brightly after going on a, a horrible little spell uh, a 3-0 defeat to norwich away at carrow road wasn't obviously ideal they absolutely trounced me really it wasn't very good performance from us at all rotated a little bit for that game a little bit of fitness and kind of paid off really. Strasbourg were up next. We beat them 2-1 until, ah, oh, this is the game that might haunt me coming into the season. Who knows? But we scored a very late penalty. Ivanov gets the goal on 86 minutes and then on 88 minutes, they snatch it back. So I thought I'd draw and I thought it was, it was done. And then very, very late on, they take it back away from me. So that's a really frustrating and disappointing loss. Uh, wins, though, in the Europa League again. Uh, Salzburg beaten twice by us, 3-0 and 2-1. And then league games in between that against Queen Gamp and Toulouse are getting both too close, but important wins. And it leaves the league table looking comedically like this, viewers. PSG, 13 games played, 12 wins, 1 draw, 37 points. Uh, whereas Leon have lost twice, but still 30 points, 5 points ahead. I don't think the league is going to be won this season, although that was never really the plan. Of course, we now know with only three Champions League places, that's the bustle that we seem to be locked into right now. And today, two winnable games in the league. And that's that's to be exciting for me because I want to see how we do in games that we should be winning. And obviously, we've played quite a few of those this season and largely done quite well. VAFC, maybe, the, or VAF, VAFC, uh, with the only game that we probably should have done slightly better in. But against the likes of Leon, against Lille, we know they're going to be tougher games. But that could depend. As I say that, I've just seen that Leon... Lil, sorry, a tenth, tenth. That's more annoying for us. That, that, nah, that's 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 rough. I'm gonna be honest. All right then, but today St Etienne on the Reims come up later on. As uh, let's introduce the team then for this first game against AS St Etienne. Do you know? I actually thought they went down. They just survived at the back end of last season and stayed up. For some reason in my mind, I thought they'd gone down. But no, it's not the case. As I say, team wise, then uh, this is what we're going to kick things off with. We've got a few injury concerns. I say injury concerns, fitness concerns at the back. Uh, Diallo and Herman can't play. All feature in the next game though. I'm sure. Borsting will start in goal. Then Lucas Avrenko and Samassi, who you've seen play right back on occasion. Uh, Lowe's going to start the game, but you can see their 83% conditioning definitely won't finish yet, and that is why we've got Christiansen on the bench. Uh, Yonick's going to play just behind uh, Amarilla and Bernard in the centre for this one with Joao Victor, uh, Kim Huxu, and Ivanov will play up front. We've been playing Schofield quite a lot, who's a good player up there, but weirdly doesn't really score any goals. One goal in eight so far, not ideal for us. And so, uh, yeah, let's see if today then we can do the business. All right, we are the early kicker off on this Sunday. So uh, can we keep decent league form going? That's the question. I want to say we're just ready if PSG start falling apart. If Leon, we're, That's not going to happen, is it? They've not lost, viewers. They've not lost. PSG, I think, will be our game coming up next. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem. They've scored 36 goals in 13 games. Uh, as comparison, we've scored 17 in that time as uh, an early injury for St. Etienne. A good sign. And it's interesting to see just how dominant we are against these sides you've seen in recent fixtures. We've had some very close games. We're not blowing teams out very often. It doesn't seem to happen. But that might just be stylistically the way that we play as uh, low fitness. Bit of a concern. I mean, we'll go slightly more positive. People will definitely be saying to me in the comments. I've I've read them a hundred times. But uh, why am I not starting more offensive in these early stages as I've gone positive now? Looking to maybe do something at home take a few more risks and now we have our first highlight of the game so maybe this is the moment either for us to counter which is something we're really good at doing or concede and send me into an oblivion viewers as <laughs> they're keeping the ball quite nicely St Etienne as uh, on that left hand side we are trying to close down you can see the press comes into play quite well considering we don't play wingers we're obviously covering those areas quite nicely as the ball inside not particularly good Joe Victor picks it up and a great through ball Kim Hunts uh, hooks through goes through scores the goal his seventh of the season he's really coming to the fore in recent games especially has been scoring goals more flu uh, more fluently for us and that's what you want to see for him uh, as I say seventh of the season lovely ball by Joe Victor just plays on the line what a pass that is by the way that is outrageously good and the finish 
bit unconventional. Not great goalkeeping, but 1-0 Nice. That's his uh, sixth goal in the league now, I think. So, yeah, I say seven all, all season, but six in the league. All right, I'm going to say I'm happy with the performance. Keep positive uh, spirits high, and I'm definitely going to make a change here. It's how we go about doing it. Christiansen's going to come on for low. We already knew that was going to happen. I wanted to be in this position really having a lead going into the second half. Um, it's Utaka or it's Mikel Torreira. I think we're going to go... Oh, no, it's not actually Yanchev. We'll bring Yanchev in. Uh, we'll put Amarilla back there, and we'll, we'll go forth. <laughs> Some people in the comments are still convinced that I've just... I've what I did was I released <laughs> I say some of you there's one there's one comment yesterday it's just making me laugh the Amarillo thing 183 episodes in I, it, it got released what do you want me to do not don't sign in Ben because he's an old player and it'll, and it'll look weird it happens someone else going I still don't understand the Amarillo situation that's what you mean what which bit you're not getting the AI and football manager they're not perfect I mean that's the that's the lesson we could take from this not that 183 episodes in I've decided to bring back an old face of a squad player from Leipzig Get real. Ball played forward. They're racing down that side as... Oh, dude. See? See? There's so much distraction now. If I was really going to do it, I'd have released Gabe, wouldn't I? Let's be real. I mean, get him back here. Quite nicely worked from uh, St. Etienne. Beat the man on that side, which is annoying because obviously I've taken off low. And now they've punished me on that weaker side, which obviously isn't ideal. Half an hour to go. Big throw in to go in, is it? Yeah, Lucas... I say big throw-in. It's not his best throw-in. Amarillo's on it, though. As uh, Lucas on that side now. Back to Amarillo. It's interesting as well. As Samassi, is it not gone in? Amarillo now doesn't want to play for Ajax. So there's clearly been a huge argument there with either him just not signing a new contract or whatever it was. And I love that we're just sort of Hello, Amarilla. Come and play for me, Amarilla. And now he is playing for me and loving it. Lucas, down the line to Kim hyuk -soo, As uh, hyuk -soo's probably going to have to try and get a ball in. Is he? he does do. And Manov's there. <sighs> this is one of those games where I've had it a few times. If we're not taking our chances, we're not going to win. Also, we can't afford to let them in as they've got a little bit of space again. They're causing us a few problems here. You can see our press, though. I always think it's quite effective, especially central areas. Of course, wider. That's a problem. And they come down that left-hand side again. Bernardo does absolutely brilliantly to get in front of that ball and now drive forward with it. He's got three options in the centre. A few on the edge as well if he can find them. Kim will see that would have been unbelievably good. 20 minutes to go. I'm looking at my bench and I've got one more change on it really. Mikel Torreira seems like the obvious move and with the way the game's gone... I think that's the move we're going to make. Kim Hooksu is going to move forward. Uh, Joao Victor is going to move to the deep line forward role. And on comes Mikel Torreira. We've seen how good he can be, especially getting on the ball in that final third, driving with it, finding that final pass. Is it going to happen in this game? We're at home. I'm going to attack a little bit more, take a few more risks. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully we don't leave too much space in behind, especially with those fullbacks. As that ball forward is cut out. And now Bernard... He's got options in front of him that goes outside to Lucas. Amarillo now trying to dictate things from a little further back. Lucas driving forward. I can see Michael Torreira, 14. He was in space, but we don't choose to find him this time. It falls to Bernard just on the edge of the box. Amarillo, Bernard again. Christiansen now driving forward on that left foot. Can he put a ball in? He can. Lucas is there from fullback to fullback. Another late goal for Nice and an all-important goal as well, viewers. It's Nice 2, St. SCN 1. And all of a sudden, we're back where we want to be in the lead. And now hopefully we can hold on. As this ball from Christiansen here picks out the perfect pass and a great first-time volley from Lucas. Goodness gracious me, 3D, it looks really good from that angle. As uh, there we are then. I mean, I will say there we are. Let's go defensive, shut the doors. Four minutes of added time. No more funny business. Jansev's got a free kick. A third wouldn't go amiss as... Oh, God. They're running forward with it. We've got to try and cut this out. I'm hoping the highlight was our free kick and not their back post cross that leads to a goal. Lucas gets the goal and then does his defensive duties. And there we are. Everyone can relax, can they? Yes, I think we probably can. Joe Victor, loads of space. It's a 4v3 at the back. If Joe Victor can get this right, we should score another goal, really. Goes all the way. Shot straight at the goalkeeper, though. And there we are then. Full time. Two home win. It came late, but it came just in time. And uh, yeah, we'll take that. Hopefully, must be a momentum for the Rem game coming up in just a moment. Reams? I think it's Reams, not Rems, Ben. It's not Rem. It's Remedy, not Remedy. <laughs> Comedy, yeah, comedy. Uh, right, when's our, when do we actually play this? Is it three days or a week? What's our situation? It's, uh, it's an international break, viewers. How have I done it? Right, I'll see you in four days. It's 2035. It takes ages. Oh, oh, viewers. This is somewhat unexpected, but this is a good time for this to happen. Now, for some reason, Spain have romped their group but sacked or their manager's been put. This is good timing, viewers. He's retired from management. Their, their manager has retired from management. So Spain, this... Okay, I was sort of just happy to admit that maybe the European Championships wasn't something I was necessarily going to succeed at. 
But now, and it's not a place I've been, Spain want me. The timing could not be more unbelievably perfect. I don't have to do any of the qualification. I can just rock up in this. Yes, I accept the offer. I have all of it. This is mad. I, this was so unexpected. Okay, I'm the new Spanish coach out of nowhere. I was just sitting here listening to a bit of Tom Grennan while I was going through. And all of a sudden, big news. Santa Maria, Sunday OB. That, that, we'll talk about it another time. Their team is good. Spain appoint me as manager. Oh, boys and girls. They've got two amazing goalkeepers as well. Santa Maria is an amazing left back. Like, they've got some really good players. There's a chance, viewers. There's a chance. One more shot at it. One more shot at it. And this is that shot. Also, because they play in red, it really suits the colours of the series. So, shout out to Spain for that. I'm Spain. Uh, C. Yes. All right. We've got a league game to play now. As I've just taken the Spanish job, which is nice. Uh, sense back wise, we are going to change things around. Uh, Herman's going to come back in, as is Diallo. There are more uh, preferred lineup at the back. Uvarenka is going to come onto the bench for this one, actually, as well. Uh, Janchev to start, maybe, in the middle. But you look at the, the recent performances of the team. Why would I change it? We'll stick with what we've got, especially in those forward areas. That's the one place where you can see, familiarity-wise, we're not quite all there yet, but we're getting closer. As uh, Borstin will be in goal in the back four, a little bit of a change. Lowe's fit for this one, of course. Uh, Yonick's going to play behind Amarillo and Bernard and Victor, uh, Huxu and Ivanov up front. Let's do the business. Spanish manager. I mean, I'm so lucky. It's I can't, I can't even they approach me. I had no idea it was available. I just thought that's not going to be something we do in this Series, and look, we still might not. It's, a, it's a, international competitions, as I've proven, very difficult viewers. But we've got one final chance. And the best bit is, if I do well, I can stay with them for the World Cup. So, yes, viewers. They've had an injury very early in this game as well. As uh, just, to, just to avoid confusion, we're wearing blue for this game. I know it's confusing, viewers. As uh, there's a early chance, though, for Reims. I'm pretty sure you, you go past Reims or something on the way to... Paris when you drive down from Calais I could be wrong viewers but it feels familiar to me as um, they're on that right hand side pull it back Lowe gets a little clearance on it Joe Victor finds Amarillo who's actually got a little bit of a, a knock there I didn't even notice that as um, the ball forward not his best work of course Yanchev is there for us to bring on if needs be this is quite an early time to do it. They've already had a forced injury. As they come forward on this right-hand side, though, they've got to be a little bit careful. They're trying to get the ball into the middle. They do get the ball into the middle to the back post. And Suarez, who I think Isaac Suarez, is the player. First goal of the season for him. Oh, he's brilliant, viewers. Spanish as well. That's ironic. Um, Yeah, he's scored with his first touch. Maybe he's just come on. I don't want to watch it again, viewers. Is that... That's not the drink out that I've... Stopped. No, it can't be. Different name entirely, Ben. Different spelling entirely. Spanish manager, Dr. Benji FM. Did not see this coming. All right, I'm not going to take him off just yet. And Marilla, I'm going to see if he recovers a little bit. So far, performance-wise, looks all right to me as Lucas on that side. Back to Amarilla. If you could just lay it off one more time. Not quite. Ball out to Lowe's. Brilliant, though. Lots of options in the centre. Lots of free players in the centre. That's got to be a goal. That's got to be a goal. You can see that Amarilla. I think he's just got a bit of a knock because he's not, like, condition-wise, he's not falling away completely. He's pretty level with everybody else. 20 minutes gone though, and we're still behind as uh, Huxu there does well to send the ball backwards, but we need to try and get on this again and create something. What, what I like about this, especially when we're in possession, we do tend to have spare players to pass to all the time. It's that triangle thing I've talked about so many times, but to do that, we have to win the ball back first as uh, they're forward again. Back post, cleared away by low, down to Joe Victor, forward to Kim Huxu, and now back into Joe Victor, who's racing forward with it. A comeback required today if we're going to win it, as Joe Victor takes on a few players. The shot, you can see the quality, can't you? But the shot's not quite there. See, that's, a, that's sort of the difference between him and Mikel Terrena. Mikel Terrena was a lot more direct, whereas Joe Victor, and maybe on the counter-attack, that's what's required, but Joe Victor's certainly willing to, to carry the ball a little more and try and take players on, whereas Mikel Terrena was very good in spaces. That's sort of the quality difference between the two. Um, Ivanov, again, having a really poor game. It's two back-to-back -back now. As uh, aggressively, I want to see something more. This was pretty poor. I might make a double change. I did it last game. I think we're going to do it again as um, Mikhail Terena is going to come on for Ivanov and then we're going to bring on um, Ivanov? I, yeah, that's the, yes, Ben. Ivanov. I, I questioned it for some reason. Amarillo is going to come out as well for Yanchev and then uh, these boys are just going to change around a little bit and let's see then. Can they do the business in the second half? Still got Otaka to bring on. Still got Schofield if we need to. And we need something quick. We'll definitely go more positive. We'll definitely demand a little bit more. And the second half, we've got to see something now. The way they're playing in a 4-4-2, you'd think there'd be spaces for us, especially in between those two central midfielders, where we should be able to overload them a little more. As Yanchev picks it up, and we're racing forward here. And if we lose the ball, we could be in trouble because we really committed to that counter-attack. Although positionally now, we don't look too bad as, oh my word, low has been beaten. I think it's low. All ends up on that right side. Ball played in. Too much time, too much space. 
And Reams here, who actually, I've just noticed they're having a pretty decent season, actually. A top half side are uh, giving us the run around. This away game for us so far, not going so well at all. I don't know what Lowe's doing there as um, Grabavoy goes past him very comfortably. The ball played in. It's a really smart finish as well. Ah, oh, this feels like one of those games where we're not necessarily going to do enough in it. Lowe struggling to play any sort of good, like, good part in this. Christensen's going to come on. Him and Lucas, I'm going to play them slightly further forward for the rest of this game. We've got, we're behind now, so we might as well. There's a long throw going to come in on that side from Christiansen. Plays it in towards Diallo, who flicks it back to Mikel Terena. Ball to the edge of the box. Hermann's there. Shot on goal. It's going to get cleared away, I suspect, as it's a one-on-one -on -one back there, if we're not careful. And uh, managed to hold him up okay. Janchev's picked it up. He's found Bernard in the centre. He's got a few options, Bernard. He might go for goal himself. He does. Not the right option on that occasion. Oh, my word. Diallo's fouled him. Diallo's fired him. It's going to be a penalty and it's going to be 3-0 to them if they score it. And wow, this has been oh, such a weird performance. We've had more shots than them. We've had more possession. But in terms of chances, we've not had anything clear cut and we find ourselves 3-0 down. This is so poor. I saw a lot of comments. It's funny, really, because a lot of comments were saying that the shadow striker role isn't a role that they would go with uh, in this lineup. But I think Mikel Terena is, is basically perfect in that role. And we saw I saw last season. The problem is, right, so I lost a couple of games last episode. And I think it's easy to say after I lose games, and I'm sure it'll be said again today, that don't play the shadow striker. Play a more playmaker role, even play three up front and on occasion. Change it up a little bit more, as we need to concede again. But it has been really successful for me. So I think it'd be crazy just after a couple of defeats to change things up entirely. As Lucas gets a goal back, 13 minutes to go, not looking all that likely. But I don't like to change things after a defeat. Like if we, What I actually tend to do is if we're winning games and he's not having much impact in the games, that's actually when I'm more likely to change it, rather than changing it maybe in defeats. It's... Maybe that's not the way you approach things, but it's just the way the football manager is a personal thing, isn't it? It's a personal endeavour. That's the way I tend to approach things. As um, a quick ball up to the right-hand side. We could have been in there, but no, we're taking our time. Mikel Terena, he's on it in that shadow striker role, and he goes out to that side. Again, I, like, my big thing is overloading and isolating, especially in centre-back areas, and having a shadow striker right in behind does do that. It sort of drags a defender in, maybe opens up a passing lane. That tends to be how I try and operate things a little bit going forward as... That's embarrassing. I mean, I don't know who's at fault more there. Is it the fullback for play? I mean, I'm playing slightly higher up anyway, but is it the centre back for getting completely outdone? Uh, Tring Carico, I guess you'd say, it, is forward on that side, beats that friend. I mean, that's comical. And then the fact we all get sucked in, no one decides to stay with Ligo at the back post. So easy for them. See, I, I might just chalk this one up as just not our day. I don't, I'm not going to change my system because of one game again. I'm not going to change too much, but they've been so clinical. And had shots on target that have caused us so many problems. Clear cut chances, they've had three of them. We've not had, they're not even finished yet. I tell you what, we might get battered here. But finally, we make a save. The goals have been pretty good. Here's Mikel Terena. I talked about him being a little bit more direct. You can see him just driving through the centre. If he could finish, imagine how good he'd be. And there we are. The team's four. I'm shell shocked, viewers. Shell shocked. I'm Spanish manager. So, I mean, that's good. I'm not happy with the performance, though. That's so poor. Now, luckily for us, I don't think it changes too much in the context of the league table. We'll take a little look at it to round things off today. But that's really disappointing. Wasteful Le Gym. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think there's a few more fixtures today, so I'll let those roll through. And then we'll take a look at the league table after this particular match day. I've got Lazio coming up soon, as well as Montpellier. Some interesting games. And as I say, PSG... The PSG game at this point is is not as important. I expect to probably lose it. It's the games against sides like Monaco in January. That's probably where we'll come back. Maybe the French Cup as well. I think that makes the most sense. Just because the Europa League, again, it's something we've completed already. And Paris are just flying right now. Absolutely flying. Four defeats for us so far this season. I, mean, I think we had nine all year last year. So a little bit concerning. See there from the league table though. Nancy still have a game in hand. So if they win that, they play a Lecky Cup actually. We'll just get the result for that. Because it might drop us down to four. As to lose did lose oh, so late goals galore there viewers blimey Charlie 94th minute winner for them and uh, pushes us down to fourth so out of those Champions League places and definitely a fight on our hands to get back in and hopefully you'll join me for that tomorrow if you enjoyed today's video please do drop a like on it want to see some more make sure you subscribe and we love with care I'll see you again soon goodbye